Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Kate and Henry. Now in our last video, we got to go downstream through lock five and watch as the water levels went down. This time we're gonna go upstream. So we're gonna come back through the lock and watch the water rise. So we're on the same level as the canal on the side of Hudson Crossing Park. Get ready to get on board and have another awesome adventure with me, Miss Chelsea, and Captain Marla and First Mate Jose from Mohawk Maiden Cruises. As we head back upstream, we're going to re-enter Champlain Canal Lock 5. It's pretty neat to see it from the water, isn't it? This is definitely not something we get to see every day. Once we're in the lock, First Mate Jose ties the Mohawk Maiden off to the wall of the lock. This makes sure that the boat stays safe and sound in one place as the lock fills up with water. Good job, Jose. You make it look really easy. But we know it's not. The lock gates close behind us. And now we're ready for it to start filling up with water. Captain Marla tells us that it takes eight minutes to fill up the lock. And when it's full, they have filled it up with three million gallons of water. That is a lot. When they lower it down, they lower it uh, down 19 feet. They dump out two million gallons. Now that all happens within that eight minutes. It's all gravity fed or any function ball. And when they fill it up, they're going to be tight. They're going to be through the wall. And down the wall, when you can't see it, if you open it, and it rushes through the wall, and when it comes in on each side, and you can observe on the other, you see a bubble. And that's the one that comes in the wall, taking it off. Just like Captain Marla promised, we start to see bubbles appear on the surface of the water. Just like she said, the pipes that are inside the lock walls fill up with water and they rush into the lock. This brings the water levels up and up and up until we're at the same level as the water on the outside of the gates upstream from the canal. It only takes eight minutes to get us all the way up that high? Wow, that is really cool. We're gonna speed it up a little bit just for today's video, but trust me, it seems pretty quick even when it's not sped up. The lock gates open, and that means we're on our way upriver through the canal and onto the Hudson River again. When the Champlain Canal was originally built, it was built to help people bring goods and materials up and down the river, which made things a lot easier. We didn't have big rigs and, and planes back then, after all. Today, we still use the canal systems a lot to carry goods back and forth when maybe it's not the easiest thing to carry through roads or on planes. But you know what? People like Henry and I also get to ride along the canals and on the river for fun. As we travel up river, we start to see some pretty familiar sights. Do you recognize this view of a very, very special place in Hudson Crossing? It's Eagle Point. I bet you haven't necessarily seen it from this angle before. Did you know that the small white building at Eagle Point is actually a replica of the original lock tender shanty that was right here on Hudson Crossing Park grounds. Just like today, the lock tenders used to stay at the lock to let people have safe passage. The lock tender would sit in that shanty and wait for a boat to come through and he would make sure that everybody was okay. Hey, look at this. It's the waterfall. Those big concrete pillars make sure that boaters don't get too close to the edge. We certainly don't want anybody going over. Can you see those birds on the orange buoys? 
those are cormorants. They're water birds and they love rivers like the Hudson where they can eat plenty of fish and spend time drying off in the sun. Do you remember when Henry and I went paddle boarding on the Hudson below the park and we went under the Dix Bridge? We're gonna go under the Northumberland Bridge this time. There won't be people walking over us. This time there's going to be cars driving over our heads. Here we go. Hey, does that car have a kayak on top of it? <laughs> Maybe they're gonna go for a ride on the canal too. Oh, would you look at that? On our way back, we also get to see some osprey. More water birds flying right over our heads. As we head back home, Henry and I agree. We are really, really lucky to be able to go on this very special ride today on the Hudson and on the canal. I think my favorite part was watching the bubbles come rising up as we went through the lock. Henry said that his favorite part was going under the bridge and watching the cars right over our heads. What was your favorite part? Oh my gosh, you guys, what an awesome day to be out on the Hudson River and go through the Champlain Canal. Let's all say a big, huge thank you to Captain Marla and First Mate Jose of Mohawk Maiden. Thank, thank you, you, guys. And thank you, Miss Chelsea, for joining us today. We'll see you next week.